Hi, in this problem we are going to rationalize. Basically we want to eliminate all of the square roots on the bottom here. So we have the square root of 2 over the square root of 2 plus the square root of 3 minus the square root of 5. To do this problem we're basically going to use the difference of squares formula over and over again. That's really the key technique. And we're going to multiply by the conjugate. So the difference of squares formula, recall, says if you have x minus y times x plus y, this is the same thing as x squared minus y squared. So in this particular problem, we're going to start by rationalizing. We're going to think of it like this. This is our x, this is our y. So now we just need the x plus y. So it'll be square root of 2 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 5. And then we're basically multiplying by 1, so you have to write it twice. And that's why we're allowed to do this. Normally in math, you just can't multiply by something, right? But you can multiply by 1 without changing anything. So now this is your x, this is your y, this is your x, this is your y. So in the numerator we have the square root of 2, and then we have this piece here, square root of 2 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 5 over, and then down here um, it's x minus y, x plus y, so it's x squared minus y squared, so you square this one, minus, and then you square the square root of 5, and that becomes 5. I'm going to leave this here. I don't think anything good is going to come from it, but um, let's just, I'll just go ahead and leave it. So this is equal to square root of 2, square root of 2 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 5 over, and then we can multiply this out um, a little bit nicer. So basically you can square the first piece. It's going to give us 2. Multiply these and double them. So you're going to get square root of 6 and then times 2. And square the last one, so plus 3, minus 5. All right, I'm convinced. I think I'm going to go ahead and distribute the square root of 2 here. So this is going to be square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2. That's cool. Square root of 2 times square root of 3 is square root of 6. Pretty cool. Square root of 2 times square root of 5 is square root of 10. Over, and then here, um, it's 2. Oh, that's cool. 2. 3 minus 5 is minus 2. That worked out really nice. So that's um, going to cancel, right? So we just have 2 square root of 6. Didn't expect it to be this simple. This is equal to. I was ready to like, you know, keep going and do all kinds of crazy things, whatever it takes. So now we need to get rid of this square root of 6. So we're going to multiply by this. Okay, and let's see what happens there. So we'll get 2 plus square root of 6, plus square root of 10, times square root of 6, over, and then here we get, this times this is just 6. So we get 2 times um, 6, so that's 12. So this is equal to, hmm, so I guess let's go ahead and uh, distribute. So this will be, uh, let's see, the square root of 6 times 2 is 2 square root of 6. The square root of 6 times the square root of 6 is 6. And the square root of 6 times 10 is the square root of 60. Okay, it's the square root of 60 over 12. Let's think about the square root of 60. I think we can do better than that. Um, 60 is equal to 4 times 15. So the square root of 60 is the square root of 4 times 15, so which is square root of 4, square root of 15, which is 2 root 15. So let's go ahead and write it that way. So this is 2 square root of 6 plus 6 plus 2 root 15 over 12. You can pull out a 2 now in the numerator. So it's going to be square root of 6 plus 3 plus square root of 15 over 12. And now this cancels and gives you a 6. So this is going to be 3 plus root 6 plus root 15 over and it's over 6. And that should be the final answer in this problem. So hopefully this video has been helpful. I went through that pretty quickly, but um, pretty simple in this case. Good luck.